I've been interested in kaleidoscopes ever since I can remember. I've always been curious about how to make a kaleidoscope and what went into the scientific aspects of a kaleidoscope. So this video is about how to make a kaleidoscope. You have a lot of options and you can actually make a kaleidoscope out of just about any type of wood. So here's some wood that I've experimented with. This happens to be walnut. Walnut is very hard and you have to be patient and take your time when you're using this. This is teak. Teak is rather relatively scarce but this is a possibility. This is cherry and you can see where I've actually glued pieces of wood together to make a block. Cherry again is really hard and you have to be careful and not burn the wood. Here's a piece of wood, it's sycamore and I've made a couple kaleidoscopes out of sycamore. This is a piece of western cedar. What I've done is marked it eight and a quarter inches and also six inches to make the kaleidoscope out of. I tried to maximize the use of this particular wood and you'll notice that I have more than one line. Now I'm going to mark the center points of these, these blocks so that I can make sure that they fit on the lathe and maximize the use of the wood. Of course want to be safety conscious at all times and keep your mind on what you're doing. I'm using a face guard. Um, I have safety glasses on plus I'm going to use a little filter to take some of the dust out of the air before I breathe it. But I do have a vacuum set up in the workshop and it's noisy but it does take some of the dust out of the air.
other end of the kaleidoscope, um, we have the lens. Now we have the eyepiece. And you will look through this piece and, of course, and turn this with the beads in it, which we will make in a minute. Plastic containers, and uh, they're probably used for a display or whatever. But anyway, I found this on the web. So the the object cell, it's a little plastic cup like that has a lid on it that I will glue. This is this glass that I have collected from various objects. Red shows up in the kaleidoscope really well. And this blue happens to be pretty in the kaleidoscope. It's mineral oil. So I pour this in it and just the idea here is to pour it in here but not to the point that it overflows. You can see the mineral oil brings out the colors. So I'm going to do one with the super glue. I'm also going to put it on the lid. Like I said earlier, this is kind of a fine motor process, but I don't know of another way of doing it. And then And I've been experimenting with different glues because super glue has to be done so quickly. We can make a two or a three mirror kaleidoscope. I'm, I've elected to make a two mirror and the third piece will be a black piece of glass. So now we have the mirrors properly spaced. Space them a little apart because we're going to have to fold the mirrors up in the form of a triangle. Now the mirrors are cut specific size to fit in the tube and actually we may have to, to redo this if it doesn't fit. So now we fold up the mirrors without touching them to get a fingerprint on them and So now the, we're going to see if it fits into the tube and if you could see through that you could start to probably see the reflections. Actually we have a fit. In this case, I'm going to use lacquer to finish. I'll have to put on five or six coats, but it really brings out the wood grain and makes them really beautiful. So I'm going to spray them, light coat first, and uh, you can actually see the, on all the wood. So I'm going to put this glass lens right here in the eyepiece. So we put a little silicone on it. And we put a little silicone in here. Then we carefully drop it down into the kaleidoscopes and putting silicone around it to hold it at the, in the end. So it's kind of a messy little job. But Basically, it'll stay in the end. All of the uh, pieces of the kaleidoscope have been finished, so now we put them together. The mirrors actually will go in. And So, and then we put a little uh, 
silicon around the mirrors to hold them in place. So now we put the uh, the um, eyepiece on and again we use silicone to to get a good seal. It's a wire again but it, it's, a, it's a keeper keeps the kaleidoscope together. You can hear it drop in. So actually it works very well. And Kaleidoscope works. <laughs>